Good morning, brothers and sisters. Friends, today is Wednesday, March 17th, which means that today is the feast day of St. Patrick, bishop and patron of Ireland. Um, as a note, uh, if you're trying to follow along, um, the link to iBravery will be a little bit wonky. Um, since my parish is St. Patrick, St. Anthony Parish, today is our patronal feast day. So St. Patrick's Day is celebrated as a solemnity. And so uh, I have included uh, page numbers to uh, the Christian prayer uh, single volume, as well as uh, following along in the, in the four volume Liturgy of the Hours. If you are using iBravery, there's a way to, uh, to get to Common of Pastors uh, and those things. Um, where the readings are, but uh, it's, a, it's a little bit cumbersome. Um, but again, uh, I'm praying it and celebrating uh, today as a solemnity for St. Patrick. Um, so pray along as you are able, or just simply pray along. All right, friends, we begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship. Come, let us worship Christ. Chief Shepherd of the Flock. The King of love, my Shepherd, is Whose goodness fails me never I nothing lack if I am His And He is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, to rest my soul he leads me. Where fresh and fertile pastures grow, with heavenly food he feeds me. Perverse and foolish I have strayed, but he with love has sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid at home rejoicing brought me. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. O God, you are my God. For you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. 
So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. God's word is alive. It strikes the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand, to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God's word is alive. It strikes the heart. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hand of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christ is the Good Shepherd, who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of Shepherd of Souls, Direct us always through our leaders. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. Nourish your people, Lord. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Nourish your people, Lord. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the intentions of our hearts, praying in a particular way for the nation of Ireland, for an outpouring of the Lord's blessing upon them, that they would be reconverted through the intercession of St. Patrick. For all of us, too, for our own conversion, that we would have a heart like St. Patrick. We pray for all of those who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We pray especially for those who are sick, who are suffering, but those who are close to death that through the intercession of St. Joseph, they would die a happy death, surrounded by the Virgin Mother, surrounded by Jesus, and those who love them. And so again, gathering all of these prayers and intentions into one, we pray the sacred words that Jesus himself gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you sent St. Patrick 
to preach your glory to the people of Ireland. By the help of his prayers, may all Christians proclaim your love to all men. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours this morning. Again, for those in, in my parish uh, celebrating this celebrating this great, uh, this great saint uh, as a solemnity. And so um, free from, from Lenten observances uh, for this day, cannot fast uh, as we celebrate this great solemnity. Friends, uh, I have a, a request for those of you who celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Um, rather than thinking about green beer um, and little pins that say, Kiss Me, I'm Irish, um, remember that St. Patrick primarily was a preacher and a missionary. And his mission was simply to bring the gospel, to bring Christ, to bring the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to a people who formerly enslaved him. He went to his captors so that they could become Christians. This is what St. Patrick's Day is about. Bringing the love of Christ, converting a nation, um, and to be a missionary for the sake of, of God. Friends, uh, with this in mind, I do hope that you have uh, an incredible day today. So whether you are staying in, whether you are going out, remember to be safe today. Remember to be healthy today. But above all, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.